Hey guys, it's me, Terry of the Yarn Joy Podcast. Welcome to Vlogist Day 4. Okay, so, and there's Teddy as on cue. He had to scratch and shake his collar around, make noise. <laughs> oh, okay, and my son is playing video games in the other room, so you may hear him yelling, um throughout this video <laughs> okay so what have I done today well today I had to work on some laundry um, you know housework stuff catch up that sort of things <laughs> but then I also uh, let's see I finished up a custom tote bag that somebody was wanting me to make for them and so I finished that up and got it packaged and ready to ship so I had to package it up and print out the label shipping label and all that so in the morning I'll go and drop it off at the post office and I believe the crochet pattern book carousel uh, will be should be the, that box <laughs> should be there at the post office waiting for me to pick it up tomorrow so I'm excited uh, to pick it up and see what is in the box um, uh, this is the first carousel that I have um, hosted, and I, it went really well. Thank you to all the participants that um, participated in it. <laughs> and so uh, I'm really excited to get it, that it's made its way back home, and I'll be able to open it up and see what's in it. <laughs> okay, so what else have I worked on? I worked on my Feel Better Friends doll. Um, got quite a bit of progress on it since the last time which I guess it was yesterday that I I think I showed you or I told you where I was yesterday and so as of yesterday all I had was the two arms and the two legs and I, I needed to start connecting the two legs together and then work my way up to create the body and so I did that and so here is my progress so far so she has little pink feet and then I did weave in the ends that was um, hanging off there. And then I went up, I attached the legs, and so I gave her a little pink underwear to match her shoes. <laughs> and then um, this yellow at the top is going to be um, a yellow dress that she's going to be wearing. And so uh, with the help of Val, uh, Valerie's Cuddly Cat Crochet, giving me uh, tips and hints, I keep messaging her and asking her, what do you do at this point? What do you do at this point? <laughs> anyway, so... Um, after I stopped the underwear part, then I connected the uh, for the the uh, dress that yellow color, and then I did one round. I don't know if you can see it, yeah, right there of uh, back loop only. So I'll have that those free loops right there to connect the skirt when I want to uh, start the skirt. Uh, so anyway, that's what I did and the little dress has like spaghetti straps and so I ended it right there There was, so I didn't have to do sleeves on the arms um, I'm just going to do the spaghetti straps that will attach and go over uh, Let's see and now as you can see I've started the head <laughs> So anyway, there she is She's quite tall <laughs> But I think she's turning out really cute and it's been you know pretty easy to put together so and oh and I crocheted the arms into the body which was awesome <laughs> now I kind of got the idea well Valerie said that that's how she did hers to to make it where it's not so much um, so many things to hand sew together which is awesome um, and the the way I did it though is I learned how to do that uh, when I back when I did the gingerbread uh, boy dolls um, by Mary Smith she she connects her arms like that also and so that's the way I did it um, so anyway there you go <laughs> so she's coming along very well okay I also looked over on YouTube and some different patterns and things trying to figure out how I'm gonna do her hair um, in the picture that I'm going by, uh, the little girl has a headband on, but then she has her hair pulled back in a ponytail in the back, one single ponytail. She's got bangs. Um, her hair is curly, uh, or very wavy, I would say, wavy. And so, um, trying to figure out how I'm going to, I'm looking at different options on how I'm going to do the hair. So, uh, but I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm having a, a good time, um figuring it out <laughs> so that's what I've been working on mostly today uh, besides my house my catch up on my some of my housework um, 
Uh, I think that was it. Oh, I did go through my patterns to pick out a, uh, a preemie hat pattern uh, for a new preemie hat to do for this month because now that it's August, I have four preemie hats to make for this month to meet my goal and so uh, to donate to the Halloween hat drive at one of our local hospitals. So anyway, I uh, picked out a fox hat. I haven't done a fox yet hat this year, I don't think. So anyway, let me pop in a picture right here, and this is the hat, the pattern I'm going to be using. Okay, so that pattern, it, that fox hat pattern is by the Passionate Crafter, and I believe it's for a newborn, so I'm going to have to... Um, as usual, you know, go down hook sizes and probably go from a worsted weight to a DK weight yarn to try to size it down for preemie size. So anyway, um, that's the pattern I'm going to be going by basing. I don't know if I'll do the eyes like those or I might do the eyes a little bit different. I don't know yet. But anyway, so that one hopefully maybe by tomorrow, maybe tomorrow or this evening maybe I'll be able to get started on it uh, let's see and I think that is it so now let's go on to the backpack buddy of the day uh, by the way I I do have I know at least two lady I think it's at least two ladies that are creating these backpack buddies along with along with me and I'm enjoying that they're posting pictures of them over on the Facebook group yarn joy podcast thank you so much ladies for joining me in making a backpack each backpack buddy each day and like I said it's so fun to see um, how yours are coming out okay so for the backpack buddy for for today I made an elephant <laughs> isn't it cute this pattern I found it um, online and the, the website is called crafty Kate Dot com but it's with K's instead of C's and very easy to put together um, you have the ball the, you know the basic ball for the head and, or, and body and then you have to do the little four the four little legs there that you have to put on uh, the the ears and then of course the trunk and he even has a little tail on the back and that cute <laughs> oh so cute I just think he turned out so cute so I will link this elephant pattern in the description box below okay like I said free pattern if you want to make yourself an elephant I think she had uh, I made mine in gray this is uh, Bernat softy baby in I don't know it's gray it's their gray color I forget um, I forget what it's called but um, it's the gray color, whatever that is. <laughs> and then I think I used like maybe a three millimeter hook. I'm not, I didn't, I, I wrote it down, but I, I forgot to look at it before I came in here. But anyway, because I did make this a few, several days ago um, as um, a way to make sure that I had one to show every day. <laughs> so anyway, and of course the clips I got from Amazon and I will link those below in the description box. Okay, so that is, it's kind of, get it to focus there, yeah. That is my backpack buddy for the day. So cute. I really enjoyed how, um, how this one came out. <laughs> okay, so I think that is it. So today is Wednesday, August the 4th, and that means tomorrow it will be another episode of Yarn Joy Podcast, and so I've got at least one finished object, and then I probably will go ahead, and for those that are not following Vlogist, I will show the, the backpack buddies that I have shown so far. <laughs> and then, um, and like I said, I do have one other finished object that I will be showing over there. So... Uh, tomorrow I'll do two videos. I will do Vlogist Day 5, but then I will also do my regular Yarn Joy podcast episode. And, um, oh, and like I said, I'll be going to the post office in the morning and picking up that package. It's supposed to be there. It's supposed to be there. <laughs> and then drop off the package I need to drop off. So, uh, then I'll be doing a video unboxing that to see what's in the box um that of uh, the carousel box that came back home so home to me <laughs> so anyway exciting videos coming up so i hope that you will check them out <laughs> okay so everybody have
great rest of your day, and we will see you tomorrow in the next video. Bye!